Hello, second graders, mathematicians. I would like to show you a little video today about telling time before the hour. So um, last time we were working about talking about telling time uh, after the hour. So for example, this is what we did last time. We talked about like if it were this time and we're looking at the shorthand is the hour hand. So this would be in the seven o'clock hour. And then the long hand is the minute hand. And this would be five minutes after seven. So we could say the time is 7.05, or we could say five minutes after seven. If this would be seven o'clock, and then we could say this is five minutes after seven. We could also say five after seven or five past seven. So again, last time we were talking about reading clocks and telling the time after the hour. And today we're gonna to do a little bit of practice with telling time when the minute hand is closer to the next hour. So like if the minute hand were here, now you can see that this is closer to eight o'clock. It actually looks like it's eight o'clock, but it's not quite eight o'clock yet. So if we look at the minute hand, we see the minute hand is on the 10, and that means it is 50 minutes past seven o'clock. But instead of saying 50 minutes past seven, we can say how many minutes to the next hour. So in 10 minutes, by 10, it would be eight o'clock. So if the time were 7.50, we could also say, well, yes, it is 7.50, but it's also 10 minutes before eight o'clock or 10 to eight, 10 minutes to eight. So that's what we're gonna practice today. I have a few little clocks here at home. And if we were in school, I would pass these out and we would practice reading these times. So I thought we could just practice a little bit here. So let's practice a little bit what we talked about last time and that was telling time after the hour. So here, think about what time it is. And again, shorthand is the hour hand, long hand is the minute hand. And the way I remember that is the word hour is short and the word minute is longer. It has more letters in it, more syllables. So the time is eight, 10, right? Because we count by fives as we go past the hour. This would be eight o'clock, 8.05, 8.10. So this is 10 minutes after eight or 10 past eight. What about this one? Think about it. The time is six. Remember when it's kind of between two numbers, it's always gonna to go to the smaller number. It was gonna to go to the right. It's still in the six o'clock hour, it's six. And then our minute hand is on the five. And remember, I was encouraging you in your workbook to go ahead and do your skip counting. Oh, marker doesn't work. Hmm, somebody must have got up my markers. So you could do your skip counting and you could write five, 10, 15, 20, 25. So this would be 625. We could also say 25 minutes past six or 25 minutes after six. How about this one? Bring, bring. What time is it? Did you say 10.05? Nice job. Now again, kind of a common mistake here is to think, oh, it's 1.50, but that would be, then I would be kind of mixing up my two hands here. So it's not 1.50, it's 10, that's the shorthand, it's 10.05. 
Another way of saying this is five after 10 or five past 10, five minutes past 10. What time is it? Did you say 9.15? Nice job, it is 9.15. And again, our shorthand, that's the hour hand. A common mistake would be to get those kind of mixed up and to think, oh, it's 3.45. So if you did that, don't panic. That is a very common thing for us to get confused. It is 9.15. Remember, another way to say 9.15 is quarter after nine, because it is a quarter, it's like a fraction, quarter past nine, or quarter after nine. All right, we'll try one more, and then we'll do some telling time before the hour. What time is this one? Did you say 11.30? Nice job, it is 11.30. We could also say it is half past 11. So another fraction for us, if we go halfway around the circle, we say it is half past 11. So 11.30, half past 11. All right, so today we're going to learn about, um, we've been learning about telling time when you have some minutes that are on this side of the clock, and we say, oh, it's like five past the hour, or 10 past, or quarter past, or 20 past, or 25 past, or even half past. But when we get to this side of the clock, then we're going to change our language. And we usually say how many minutes to the next hour. Because really, if the, the minute hand is on this side of the clock, it's closer to the next hour. So let's do a little practice with those. I have a few clocks here that are closer to the next hour. So this one. Think about what time it is. And let's look at our hour hand. Our hour hand is between the one and the two. So it's still in the one o'clock hour. So this time would be one. Let's see, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40, 45, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95. It's one thirty-five. And because my marker is not working, I'm going to use a little sticky note that I have. All right, so this time is 1.35. Now, another way of saying this, now we could say 35 minutes past 1 o'clock, and that would be okay. But usually, if it is on this side of the clock, kind of on this left side, it's closer to the next hour. So it's actually closer to 2 o'clock. So now we're gonna think about, well, how many minutes to two o'clock? So we can think about another way of saying this is blank minutes to blank. So how many minutes to the next hour? Well, let's see, five, 10, 15, 20, 25. So we could say this is 25 minutes to two or 25 minutes to two o'clock. All right, so we could say this is 1.35. We could say it's 35 minutes after one. We could say it's 25 minutes to two. All right, let's try another one. What about this one? What time is this one? Hmm. Look at our hour hand here. Ooh, is it four o'clock? Kind of looks like it's four o'clock, although it's not pointing right at the four. It's actually right before the four. It's still in the three o'clock hour. So this time would be three. Put my two dots here, the three o'clock hour. And then my minute hand is on the 10. And I could go ahead and I could count by fives. Or I could do 5 times 10. I know 5 times 10 is 50. This time would be 350. Now, another way of saying 350 is how many minutes 
to the next hour. So I could say, well, let's see how many minutes to the next hour. Five, ten. So in ten minutes, it is going to be the next hour. So that would be ten minutes to four. So in ten minutes, it's going to be four o'clock. Let's try a few more. What about this one? What time is it? Hmm. Let's see. Let's put the shorthand. Is it in the six o'clock hour or the seven o'clock hour? Hmm. Well, I know that in five minutes it's going to be the next hour. So in five minutes, is it going to be six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight o'clock? It's going to be one of these, right? In five minutes, this little hour hand is going to go and it's going to be seven o'clock, but it's not seven o'clock yet. So it is six fifty-five, right? And again, you can count by fives. Or you can think about, well, I know that there are 60 minutes in an hour, so I can just take away 5. I know 60 minus 5, 55. Or you could do 11 times 5 is 55, so we know that's 55. So the time is 6.55. Another way of saying this is blank minutes to blank. So like we talked about in 5 minutes, it's going to be 7. So another way to say that is five minutes to seven. All right, what about, ooh, what about this one? Hmm, what time is it? Let's see. Would you say 2.45? I think it's 2.45, let's see. Our hour hand is right between the two and the three. We always go to the smaller number two. And our minute hand is on the nine. I could go five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. It's 245, or I could think about, I know nine times five is 45. So 245, and it's going to be in five, 10, 15, in 15 minutes. It will be three o'clock. Now, another way when we have a 15 minutes, if you remember that kind of chunk of 15 minutes is also called quarter. And it's a quarter of an hour. So we could also say this is called quarter two, three. So we could say 245, it's 15 minutes to three, it's a quarter to three. All right, what about this one? We'll try one more and then we'll look at our textbook for a second. Ooh, what time is this one? It's like both the hour and the minute hand are pointing to the 10. Hmm. Is it 10.50 or is it 9.50? Let's see, well, I know that in five, ten, in 10 minutes, it's gonna be at the next hour. And in 10 minutes, I think it's going to be 10 o'clock. So this, you would read this, this is 9.50, 10 minutes to 10. Another way you could also say this is 10 to 10. It's 10 to 10, 10 minutes to 10 o'clock. All right. So your work for today has to do with Looking in our textbook. Oh, this was yesterday. Oops. No, that's right. Yes, this is today. Okay, telling time before the hour. So here we go. And they've kind of helped us by like shading it in here. So they're saying at 350, we could say it's 10 minutes to four. And again, in 10 minutes, it will be four o'clock. So a few different ways we can read it. We can read this 350. 10 minutes before four o'clock. We can also say 10 minutes to four. And that means in 10 minutes, it's going to be four o'clock. Here's one similar to the one we just did. It is 15 minutes to 10. It's 9.45. We can also say it is a quarter to 10. 
And we can see there our fraction. If we divided up this circle, that would be a quarter, one fourth, a quarter, quarter to 10. All right. So there are a few practice problems for you. Let's look at these quickly. 445. And they're showing us that in how many minutes it's going to be 5 o'clock. And we can go 5, 10, 15. So in 15 minutes, it's going to be 5 o'clock. And we know that we can say quarter to 5 or 15 minutes to 5. If it's 6.55, how many minutes to 7 o'clock? So here they're kind of just showing us in 5 minutes, the clock will look like this. 5 minutes to 7. And then on this page, we just have some practice with there is a person who is getting up and getting ready for the day, it looks like. So let's think about oh, oh, getting up and yawning and stretching and having a nice day. My daughter and I have been reading some of those weird but true books. And I know Ms. Schultz has been doing those and her good morning videos and I've enjoyed watching those. And I read that the average yawn takes about six seconds. So my daughter and I were, oh, we were yawning and saying, was that about six seconds? Anywho, so it looks like this little guy, he's waking up and is he waking up at, let's see, is it six o'clock? Or is it 1230? Mm. I think it's six o'clock. Must be six o'clock a.m. in the morning. All right, so he wakes up at six o'clock. Looks like he's brushing his teeth at 605. Five minutes past six. And then we have a little bit of breakfast. So he's got an egg there. Oh, I had an egg, some avocado toast this morning. Delish. Let's see, we've got six. And it is 6.20, 20, 20 minutes past 6. He's leaving the house. Bye, Mom. Have a great day. It looks like it is. Let's see. It's between the 6 and the 7, so it's still in the 6 o'clock hour. And it's pointing to the 9. That means it's 6.45. In 15 minutes, it will be 7 o'clock. It is a quarter to 7. He gets to school and it is 7.15. It's a quarter after seven. Whoop. And he is ready to go starting class at 7.50. So we could say in 10 minutes, it's gonna be eight o'clock. So we could say 10 minutes to eight, 10 to eight. All right, your homework for today, second graders is page 119. Um, and when you're working on this page on 119 to 121, one idea that would be really prudent would be to write the time underneath each clock. So if I were you right away, the first thing I would do is write 305. So underneath here, I can write 305. And then I can say, well, I know that 305 is five minutes after three o'clock. Or five minutes past three. So if I were you, I'd go ahead and write the timer right under here, and then you can t tell what time it is. So the first couple tell about how many minutes past the hour, kind of a little review, and then, oh, we have a special guest. Special guest just stopped by, two special guests, actually. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, this is Bob and Sophia. Hi, thanks for stopping by. We're doing a little math work. Okay, so, and then we have how many minutes to the next hour. So these, again, if I were you, I would write, what time is it on the clock? It's 2.40. I would write 2.40 down here. And then 2.40, oh, we have to think about how many minutes before the next hour. So 2.40 would be hmm, 5, 10, 15, 20. 20 minutes before 3 o'clock, 20 minutes to 3. Okay, so these are going to be a little trickier. This is the time before the hour. All right, and we have a little bit more practice on the next page. And a little bit of practice telling time. I hope this has helped you. It looks like we're going to draw some minute hands on the clock on this page. And 
I will talk to you tomorrow. Have a great day, mathematicians. Bye. Hmm.